guys. Denise here from DIY Furniture and Decor. How is everybody doing today? It's Sunday. Okay, hold on a second here. Got to make sure we're live. If you're hopping on, say hello. Let me know that we're going. Are we going? Are we live? Oh, I think we might be. Are we going? There we go. Hey guys. Okay. So today, we're finishing this stool. How many of you remember me doing it? I did, uh, this is the third part. I did the first two parts, uh, I don't know, last week sometime. And, um, hi Nanette. Hey Charlene. Uh, when you pop on, let me know that you're saying hello. And if this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Denise from DIY Furniture and Decor. Okay. So I'll recap. This is, let me show you. I am in love with this color. Look at that. That is the top we used to stencil. Okay, so I painted this. It's a mix of colors. So it's DIY paint and it's a mix of sea glass, old 57, and crinoline, not crinoline, tarnished pearl. Um, I, I kind of know, I don't remember the ratios. I just kind of mixed it up until I kind of like the color. That's what's really, uh, really cool about paint is you can mix the colors. You don't have to use just what's on, um, in the jar. I actually, the reason I mixed the color is because I didn't have enough paint because I was wanting to do the sea glass and I didn't have enough paint to do it. So I was just starting adding other stuff and came up with this gorgeous color and I love it. So uh, we painted it and then we wet distressed it. Let me bring you over here, look at that. Can you see the wet distressing there? So we distressed it down and um, now we're gonna wax it because I ran out of wax. That's why we're doing a part three. All right, let's see here. Hi, Anne, and Heather from Tampa. All right. So how many of you received the email? Did you receive the email letting you know that uh, I was going live? A great chip in the stool. Yeah, Stacy, it's, um, yeah. Is there a chip somewhere? It'd be good. Okay. So I'm using um, DIY wax because I love DIY wax. I love DIY paint. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna clear wax it first. And the reason we clear wax first, whenever you're gonna do a uh, specialty finish, and what I mean by that is whenever you're gonna use dark wax, black wax, any colored wax, white wax, you want to put a, a film of clear wax over first. If you don't, what happens is you're going to use that colored wax to put on and I, and usually you wipe it back off, right? And you only leave little bits here and there. Well, if you don't clear wax it first, then it, it won't come off very well and it'll cause you a lot of stress. Okay. So we're going to do that first. So I'm just going to take just quite a bit. Now I like to take it out and put it on a paper plate, styrofoam plate, because I want to keep, look at that. I want to keep this wax nice and clean. I don't want to transfer the colors, okay? And when you're waxing, this stuff is very, very soft. Okay, like that's how much I've got on there. Not much. Here, let me. Let me situate the light a little better here. I think that's better. 
that better, guys? Maybe that light might be too close now. <laughs> okay, there's not a lot of wax. You want to do a happy medium between enough wax and not enough. If you put too much on, it's just going to take a long time to dry. If you don't put enough on, you'll see the difference because the color changes with DIY paint. Okay, so I'm actually going to see if I can. Let me come a little closer to you guys. Hold on. Because I want you to see the color change. Okay. I know you can't see the bottom, but let me just get the bottom of this one. So what you'll notice is the color change. So look at this rung. This this one compared to this one. Can you see the color difference? See how it's deeper? Okay, this one on the right hand, on this side. That's backwards. I don't know. It's backwards. <laughs> Trust me. It's different. And you, just, you could totally just leave this with the clear wax on. Yeah, I'm going to bring you a little closer down. You don't need to see me so much. There we go. You could totally just leave it at this clear wax but I like to white wax a lot of stuff and I'm using um, this is my paint pixie this is the little C it is my favorite wax brush um, I have arthritis in my hands so I find this really easy to hold on to and these bristles okay let me show let me show you the difference between two different wax brushes Okay, when I first started doing this years ago, the lady that came out with the paints, a different brand, she has her own wax brush. And this is her wax brush, okay? I wanna show you the difference. So this is another brand's wax brush. And I loved it, it was really good until I met this one. Because what this does, and I didn't realize until, because I used this the other day, because I didn't have this with me, I was in Woodstock. These are too stiff. So my hand was killing me because it wasn't flowing. I was really having to really kind of dig in there. So kudos to Paint Pixie for making the little C. I, I love it. Okay. Um, you can uh, Paint Pixie brushes and the DIY paint, IOD, stuff like that, you can get it I want to craft.com. You can shop in your uh, currency too. You just change the top. You go to the top of the website and it just changes the currency to US or Canada. Because they do ship to Canada. All right. Let me check messages here. Hello, is it, is it Hel, Hil? I'm probably m messing up your name from Denmark. Hello. And you see the difference. Okay, good. Thank you, Maria and Barbara. Hey, Sheila. Oh, Heather, thank you so much for sprinkling. I can always count on you for sprinkling. And I always forget. If you uh, know somebody who would like to see this as well, can you sprinkle the video? It would be awesome. <laughs> Hi, Terry and Elizabeth and all right, you're all here. Very good. Okay. 
wait till we get to the white wax, guys. It's gonna be awesome. Awesome! It's awesome sauce. And then what you do is um, you let this sit overnight and then you buff it in the morning. Um, you can buff it with uh, a rag, a lint-free rag. I have a buffer. It's a brush, again, because I do a lot of furniture, so it cuts down the amount of time. Okay, so if you're just popping on, we're clear waxing this first before we do the white wax, okay? You. you to see this part I actually ended up not sanding this down I actually kind of liked it the way it was this uh, stencil I don't sell this stencil but you can get it at Jamie Ray vintage it's Jamie's uh, stencil okay so we've got that on there Now, it's a workout, waxing. Oh, I'm hot now. <laughs> Let me crack the window. Okay, come on now. Window open, please. Oh, yeah, there we go. We're gonna hear a bit of a hum now with the, with the highway, but. Uh, hola. Hey Kim, I'm glad you caught me live too. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch brushes. Okay, I like to keep I like to keep um, three of these: a clear wax, a white wax, and a dark wax because I don't like mixing my paint my uh, brushes, and I have done that before. So let me get oh. I'm just going to use this chip brush. So if you if you can't afford to get a proper wax brush, you can use this chip brush. I usually use it only for adding my colored waxes, okay? Because I'm putting it on and then I'm wiping it off. So I like to use my good brush for the clear and then I'm just using a dollar store chippy brush for this part, okay? Good Sunday. Okay, so this is the white wax. Okay, and it is like butter. Butter. I don't know why I said it that way. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, I need something. What do I need? Hold on. Okay, so again, I'm just taking some out. I don't want to cross contaminate. Okay, I'm going to get that out of the way. Okay, this is where the fun stuff comes in. So I'm just putting it on my brush, just like that. Okay. And because I'm using a chippy brush, it is going to like chip off. So you'll have to pick off the... Uh, the Brussels. The Brussels? The Brussels. Not the Brussels. Okay, ready? Are you ready for it? So I'm going to get it all in the crevices. I'm just going to get it all in there. Like so. I'm 
then I'm going to wipe it off. And as I wipe it off, it's going to sit in the crevices here. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that on, but I will take some pictures too. So I will post them on the, um, on Facebook. But you just, you want to kind of dab it in and make sure you get all of those spots. And that's why, you know, because I can put a bunch on. And this is where you can have a lot of creativity and fun because you can add a little bit or a lot. You're kind of the boss, right? Okay, let me turn it around here. And you don't have to wait. As you saw, I just went straight in. So I'm going to get it all in the little nooks and crannies. The nooks and crannies of it all. I don't know why I'm talking English. I don't know why. Or what that is. <laughs> and I'm just wiping it back. Now, because this color is already pretty light, it's it's not going to be like a huge, huge difference. Um, but you'll see in the picture the subtleties of it. And it's just changing it just ever so slightly. But if you're doing this, I do this on a lot of my dark colored waxes as well. Okay, let's see if I can get this up nice and close to you guys. Can you see that? Hold on. And I am always on the lookout for these stools. These stools always sell so good. And of course, this one Kelly is getting, my sister. She doesn't know that yet. She still thinks I'm going to sell it. So now, let's bring you, I'm going to, um, yeah, I'm going to bring you up onto the table, and I want to show you, I'm going to do this, but I want to bring you up so you can see it. So bear with me a second, guys. Okay, you're going to go flying for a minute. breaking things guys <laughs> let's see hello Christina okay that might be good there okay hold on I think I'm gonna bring you up one more here one more all right we're on a step stool guys <laughs> Turn it around so you guys can see it. Woo! Okay, hopefully I won't fall. Hopefully. Now, where did my brush go? Okay. So I'm just going to get all this on here. Now, because there's no crevices and crooks and crannies in this, Okay, it, what it's doing is going to pick up um, the brush strokes, and that's kind of why I like the brush strokes, but I'm not going to wipe it back so much. Like, that's it. I don't know if you can see the difference. You probably can't see the difference here. 
Uh, Heather, no, she does not. Now she's uh, she works corporate job, so she's she doesn't have the uh, artistic want and desire like I do. Okay, so like I said, then I'm just gonna let this sit overnight. I'm gonna buff it in the morning, and uh, then I will take some pictures. Yes, I am, Annie. I'm using white wax. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, and this I do this a lot, actually. Let me get this. Let me see if I can do this without falling. <laughs> I'll sometimes just run the wax over a bit. Whoa, hold on. Let me see if I can get you to see this. See? Where am I here? Right here, right here, right here. Okay, see this? Give me some hearts if you can see this, because I can't see if you can see this, but I can see if you send me some hearts or a thumbs up. Um, it kind of gives that that white hue. And then when this dries and we buff it up, okay, you guys can, okay, good. So I can add as much or as little. And if worse came to worse, you put too much on, just wipe it off. And then a little trick, guys, Especially if you're using black, okay? If you're using black, definitely clear coat it. Make sure you got a really good clear coat on that, okay? And then, say you did it and it wasn't wiping off, you can now take the clear wax, go back over the black wax as, a, as an eraser, okay? So there's that. So there's no excuses not to um, have a lot of fun with these paints. Okay, all right, now I gotta try and get down very carefully. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Okay, that was not pretty. I just saw that on the camera. <laughs> oh dear. So, that's, that is the stool so again it's a it's a color mix which i really really like this mix of color it's sea glass old 57 and tarnished pearl i would say it's about out of uh i got wax in my eye <laughs> i'm winking at you Whew. good thing it's all natural um, <laughs> funny or silly, I don't know. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, so out of an eight ounce container, I probably had about, uh, I'd say a third of sea glass. And then I put in another third. So I would say that was 50, 50 of old 57 and sea glass. And then I added the tarnished pearl until I got the kind of right lightness. You just got to play with it. It really is just playing with color. And, you know, if you're really nervous about doing this on a piece of furniture, do it on a piece of paper first, right? But really experiment and have fun because I'm glad I did because this is like, this is a unique color. You can't get this color anywhere. Else. Well, maybe you can. I don't know. I hope not because it's like... I just did this color. <laughs> oh, it is a soothing color and I'm actually kind of glad uh, my sister wants to keep it because um, I get to look at it. So, yes, did you guys receive my email? If you did, if you got a reminder via email, can you put yes in the comments right now? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, I didn't get the link, but I can get it. Facebook has changed. This is kind of hurting my neck being up here, guys. Hold on. Um, let me bring you down. Okay, well, hold on. There we go. You did. Okay, good. Good. So Facebook has made some changes to ManyChat messenger okay 
and they're actually doing it for your interest so you don't get spammed a million and one times a day okay so that's why they're doing it now some places are still doing it but you risk having your page shut down and I don't I don't need to have my page shut down please thank you so what I'm doing is I set up a little group on my email and whenever I go live you just I'll send it out it's usually within within five minutes of me going live so um, do you guys want the link Let me get Give me a second here and I'll get the link. Um, I have to open that up. I can get it really quick. You just got to sort of stay, stay ahead of the game a little bit. I kind of miss having Messenger because there's pages that I follow and now they don't send me notifications. So Okay, so I want to go into um, so yeah, kind of silly. Okay, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to copy. All right, this should work. Edit and paste. Okay, so I've just put a link in. If you click that link, it'll send you to a page and all you do is you put your name and your email in and you'll get notified when I go live if for any chance you want to unsubscribe it's so easy you never have to contact me all you need to do is when you get your email right at the bottom it'll say unsubscribe you click that it says do you really want to unsubscribe to DIY furniture and decor and you say yes please done okay so there's that okay so that's it today guys um, I'm gonna do another one next week I'd like to do one every week um, I've kind of got this I don't want to say anything because I don't want to jinx it but I want to do more lives than just once a week um, but they're gonna be kind of all over the place they're gonna be wherever I can kind of get in a spot and do a live so there's some might be some mornings there might be some afternoons there might be some evenings okay so it's going to be kind of all over the place oh, okay you did get it thank you Heather thank you Joanne yeah okay um, I'm also going to set up um, my YouTube channel DIY furniture and decor it's an old channel that I haven't really been doing anything to but what I'm going to do is when I do these parts, like part one, two, and three, I'm going to make a playlist on the YouTube channel. Okay, so if you are a YouTuber, I'm a YouTuber. I, I spend a lot of my time on either Pinterest or YouTuber. Um, DIY furniture and decor. Go over and subscribe there, and then I will have a list of all of these. Okay? All right, guys, have a super duper wonderful day. Uh, thank you so much for popping on here with me and sharing this the last 30 minutes. And I will post some pictures of this on my Facebook page. I'm going to do it tomorrow because we've lost all the light. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Okay, I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye. I got to reach up really high. Love you.